Hey everyone, I'm Scott from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm an Army veteran and I'm uh, here to just take a few minutes to talk about what I feel is the most important issue going across our country right now. Not only here in the great state of North Carolina, but states all over is the, the fight over voting rights. And, you know, to me, 2020, we had the most participation in our elections of all time. About 160 million people voted, which should be celebrated across all political parties, you know. Our goal should be to get as many people into the democratic system as possible. You know, the, the right to vote is our most sacred and basic foundation as, as Americans. And that should be something that, you know, it's the year 2021, it should be easy, quick, efficient to be able to vote. There's no reason with all our, you know, technological advancements and everything going on that we should expect people to spend hours and go through, you know, bunch of loopholes to try and register register it should you, know, you should be able to register and vote within a half hour there should be no reason why it, it's difficult and that should be celebrated and praised by all political parties you know we should be looking at participation rates of voters first you know even though we had our highest election we still are we're below 70 percent of registered voters we as all americans should strive for as close to 100 percent as possible because we want all citizens to be you know part of the democratic process across all races genders creeds you know everyone should have their right to vote protected and it should be celebrated and you know to see the election workers from the 2020 election uh, the far right has demonized and villainized them through conspiracies when they worked through a pandemic and just against all odds to put on, you know, the, one of the most secure and safe elections in our nation's history under very trying circumstances. So thank you to all those election workers. You all are heroes. And the fact that you're getting death threats from certain people, and it's just, it's despicable. And I just want to, you know, I hope you all can, you know, we all can volunteer to be election workers and try and help our democracy in any way we can. You know, we all, this is not a time to be on the sidelines at all. You know, someone is a veteran, I'm, you know, sworn oath to the constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And, you know, I do anything to protect everyone's right to vote, no matter who, you know, in America, diversity is our strength. I was lucky enough to grow up in communities um, with people of all different colors, all different genders, sexual orientations, and it made me, I feel, stronger as a person, you know, not being siloed, but hearing different views and seeing other people's backgrounds. And, you know, America as a melting pot is definitely what makes us most, you know, the most beautiful country in the world. But, you know, we're failing at that right now and we're taking steps backwards, you know. I'm still pretty young, maybe 35 this year, and, you know, you read the, about the civil rights and the going back to the Civil War and the, you know, the fights for voting rights and for equality. And it just thought that we're going backwards is uh, really distressing. I have two, you know, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and I want them to grow up in an America where we celebrate diversity and we accept one another and don't judge one another. And that starts with giving everyone the equal access to the right to vote. That's the foundation where we have to start. So I just urge everyone to get off the sidelines all sane Republicans, all moderate Democrats, all progressive, everyone, you know, we have, um, we have a fight in our country right now that being on the sidelines is unacceptable right now. There's so many great organizations out there like the Republican Accountability Project, uh, More Than a Vote is a great organization that gets voting, uh, that fights voter suppression. Um, Veterans for Responsible Leadership, Democracy Docket. There's so many great organizations out there you could help volunteer, could help give funds to. So I just urge everyone, this is our moment, this is our time, so please get off the sidelines, fight for democracy, fight for voting rights. And just wanted to close with, uh, you know, with everything going on right now with some of uh, the news outlets, uh, Fox in particular, saying just some horrible things about our military leadership and, our generals, I just wanted to throw my support for them and just thank you, thank them for their decades of service. These are unbelievable Americans and for people like Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram to denigrate their service just because they're striving for diversity, equality in our military and want our military to represent the entire country. Um, you know, people like Tucker Carlson are, are despicable, racist, fascist, and they have no place in our country. 
Um, so I just urge everyone, please stand up for democracy, stand up for our values and uh, get off the sidelines and fight. Right, thanks everyone, have a great day.